everybody, it's Dana and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be playing with the Holiday Sentiment stamp set along with the Coordinating Holiday Strips die. This combo makes fantastic strips of your Holiday Sentiment and makes it super easy to do cards. Now we're going to use this stamp set and die today to make a really festive card. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the Nut uh, cracker cling stamp. I love this cling stamp. It's going to be easy to make our background and I'm going to use some cherry cardstock for my paper today. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab in my Misty. Now if you're using any of these cling stamps in your Misty, you're going to want to remove the foam pad that is in there. And in my case, I wanted to make sure I got this design everywhere. So I did bring in a mat that might be used for like a Cricut, like a little sticky mat. And I'm going to place my cardstock right in the center of that. And I am going to do some heat embossing. So I'm going to prep this with my powder tool. And then I can go ahead and line this up. And I know I'm going to get full coverage over that card panel. So I can press that down and we can go ahead and start stamping. Now I'm going to first stamp with embossing and watermark ink. This ink is a clear ink and this allows us to get our embossing powder to stick to the paper. So I'll make sure that I get good coverage on this because when you're doing this, if anything shifts in your Misty and you have to restamp it, if everything's not locked into place, you might get like a halo stamping. So I make sure to kind of press this down really, really good so I can get a good impression. Now here's a tip. I am going to restamp this in my unicorn white ink. And the reason I'm going to use this is going to allow me to have a more brighter result at the end. So bear with me, I'm gonna show you how this works. So as you can see, I'm just putting that unicorn ink everywhere on a stamp. I did not clean in between the um, watermark ink and the unicorn ink, and that's totally fine. I'll go ahead and press that down really good, and you're gonna see now it's white. Once I start sprinkling on my embossing powder, and right here I'm using the Hero Arts Detail White Embossing Powder, you're really going to see these images pop a little bit more than if you had just used your watermark and embossing ink. So go ahead and sprinkle that all around, but you can really see that that white unicorn ink is really sticking to that embossing powder. And that is fantastic because the um, ink is a pigment ink, so it's gonna take a little bit longer to dry, which is gonna give me that opportunity to put on that embossing powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap off any extra I have here, just making sure I have good coverage everywhere. And I think I just missed a little corner at the top. So I'll go ahead and dab some on there. And I think that looks good. So at this point, I can go ahead and start heat setting this. I do make sure that my gun is nice and hot before I bring it to my project. Now, while I'm heat setting this, I do want to mention that Hero Arts is having a holiday cheer card drive. This is a good old fashioned mailing card drive, and this is going to really spread some holiday cheers this year. So if you are into making your cards already, we would love for you to support us. Do head on over to the Hero Arts blog. I'll put a link in the bottom and the deadline for cards are November 18th, 2022. All right, once I get all of this heat set, you can see really how bright white that is now. And that's by doing that little bit of extra stamping with the unicorn weight in order to get that bigger pop. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and we're gonna start working on the rest of the card. So I am going to put my padding back in my Misty because now I'm going to use the other stamp. Now the color cardstock I'm using today, I wanted two shades of green. So I'm using Meadow and Shamrock for my greens today. And this is going to make my tree. So I will start off first with the lighter green. I'm gonna tuck that into my Misty and then I'm going to grab that beautiful holiday sentiment stamp set. Now, as you can tell, all of these sentiments equal out to be a tree, like a beautiful worded Christmas tree. 
you can stamp it and use it just like this and quickly make your holiday cards. But I'm gonna change this up just a tad bit and I'm gonna have some extra sentiments left over. So I did prep my paper because I am going to be doing some heat embossing again. So I will start with the um, embossing and watermark ink. I'll go ahead and press that down. Now I'm going a little bit light over those words because the words are really small i don't want them to bloom out and when i say bloom it's like almost like you double stamped it so i have a great first impression now i'm going to go back in with that white ink and i'm going to go ahead and stamp right over that again now i am going to bring my pressure tool in but i'm not pressing too hard because again i don't want my sentiments to bloom I make sure I rubbed everywhere and then I have an impression, but I need to put a little bit more pressure right in the middle. So I'm just going to stamp this up one more time. And with this white um, ink, it doesn't need to be perfect. You just need to make sure that you get some of that um, unicorn white ink down. So press just a little bit harder. I have more of that center covered. So now I can move on to my next piece. But before I do, I do want to add in my embossing powder. I will put this embossing powder on, even though the pigment um, ink stays wet a little bit longer, because it's over that embossing ink, I need to make sure that I just get this powder on very quickly. So you can see we have great sentiments there. So now I'm going to go ahead and repeat that same thing with the Shamrock cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and do it first in the embossing ink, and then I'm going to do it again in the um, pigment ink. Now, again, I'm lightly pressing on this just to make sure I don't bloom anything out. I have a good impression, and then I can go ahead and use that white. Now, this is just an extra step that I've just decided to do, but you really don't have to do this if you don't want to. I just find that it gets just a little bit more of a white pop if I end up using the unicorn ink. But again, this is just my preference right now, but you don't have to do that. This sentiment or all these sentiments will work perfectly fine if you only did it in the embossing ink. And especially if you're doing gold embossing ink or any other color, I would not suggest that you use the white. All right, I have that out. I can go ahead and sprinkle some more of my white embossing powder. And this is the detail white embossing powder. I can go ahead and shake that down onto my card. And then I can go ahead and start heat setting these. Now, I want to mention to you that if you heat set and you, I realize that missed a tiny little spot there, I'm just going to grab my white jelly roll pen and fill in that area. That's what's so great about using the white embossing powder is that if you don't get a crisp image, you can go ahead and fill it in with one of your jelly roll pens. I'm gonna go ahead and check this one here. I missed a little spot in the middle, so I'll go ahead and fill that in. All right, next we have our two panels. For my dark green panel, I'm going to use this fantastic die. Now the die is going to cut out all of those sentiments so I can have 21 sentiments ready to go on a card or again like i said you can leave this in a beautiful holiday tree and it will be just as pretty but i hope that we get more of these kind of uh, stamp sets so we can use those sentiment strips so i am just going to use just a little bit of purple tape to make sure i can hold this in place once everything is lined up i can go ahead and take this over to my die cutting machine and die cut out all the sentiments. Remember, I'm getting 21 sentiments out of this one stamp set. Here we go. I'm going to bring this in and check this out. All of those sentiments are going to fall right out. And again, like I said, I now have 21 sentiments to put on cards. So let's say, for instance, you just want to use one of the holiday bold prints. You can do that and just slap a sentiment on it, and then your cards will be done. This is such a fantastic idea, and I absolutely love that Hero Arts has this now. All right, now for my tree, I do want to trim this down a little bit because I want it to be looking like a tree. So I'm just going to grab my paper trimmer here, and I'm just going to trim this down. I just make sure to line up my words and make sure I use that little plastic bit there. 
to line up my words so they're nice and straight and I can go ahead and trim this down. Once this is trimmed down, I have a perfect tree to put on my gorgeous background. Look how pretty this is. I love the red in the back, it's so festive. And then I have my little tree. Now this is when we're gonna grab some, some of those sentiment strips. And I felt having just another shade of green popped up on my little tree was going to make this look like a fantastic card. So I'm going to just grab a few of those sentiments, place them around my tree, and I think I'll do every other roll, row just to keep it consistent. So once I have everything lined up the way I want it to be, look how pretty this becomes. It just gives you that little bit more of that green holiday pop and it makes our tree stand out a little bit more. So I'm just gonna grab my last one at the top. I think this looks perfect, everything's lined up. Now, I do want this to stand up a little bit. So I could just glue them on like this, but instead I decided to use some thin foam strips for this. Now how I'm going to achieve that is just every other green like I have here, I'm just going to put down the strip of tape and then I'll place the sentiment on top. And I'm gonna do that all the way back up to the top of the card. Now once I get all of this set, you obviously see that there's gonna be some hangover on the side, but we're not gonna worry about that because that's a quick fix. But look how easy this card was to make. I will tell you, I already see this in a beautiful red, black, and gold card. I think it will be absolutely stunning. So just keep in mind that you can just mix up your background, mix up your color of cardstock and your embossing powder, and you can get a terrific look on a holiday card that's super easy to put together. So now everything's in place, and all I need to do is just trim down the excess. And as you can see, this card has really not taken me a long time to put together. Now, I did think I wanted to add just a little bit of green to the bottom of this, just to show like maybe where my tree had stopped and the trunk had begun. Now, I could have left this and been just fine. The card would have looked just as good, but I just decided just to fix this just a little bit, just for my own, you know, sanity's sake. So I'll go ahead and put down that little joy right at the bottom, right on that foam tape. And then once I get that down, all I need to do is grab my scissors and I can trim this off. All right, once this is trimmed off, we are going to have such a pretty card. Now I did not decide to trim down my red piece. I really want this to be the full card panel. So I'm just going to add this to a side folding note card from Hero Arts. Now I am super, super lazy, you guys. I love having these card bases already done for me. So make sure that you check it out over on Hero Arts because it's so easy. I just go in my drawer, pull out one that's already made, and all I have to do is place down my project on top of it. I believe they also still come in craft as well. So if you want a craft side folding or top folding card, you can grab those from Hero Arts. All right, I have that placed on there. And for shipping purposes, I decided to just glue this down with the Hero Arts Precision Glue. I could have popped it up, but I don't want to incur any more extra shipping. So if I keep this just flat onto the card panel, I'm just going to have to worry about that little bit of height where my sentiments come in. So as you can see, this was a super easy card to put together. Remember, if you change up your color palette with your holiday cards, you can make this design over and over again. So remember, don't forget to head on over to Hero Art for the 2022 Hero Fest holiday card, uh, cheer card drive. And I hope that you can send them some cards. All right, everybody, that's the card for the day. Thank you so much, and I will see you back here soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.